Hi guys, this is Tennessee from Face the Paints. Um, today what I thought I would do is cover um, smoothie blenders. Um, this is one of the very first ones that I had and they are fantastic. But you can get some that don't last as long. Um, and also if you haven't had them before, you're probably not quite sure um, how to use them properly, I guess, so that, that they're taken care of well. Um, now, this is um, one of the original Silly Farm ones, but they now stock these ones with pink handles. So they're quite a bit longer. You can also get other types of smoothie blenders, sometimes they're called sponge brushes. Um, there's one around that's a bit more elongated in the head and it doesn't last. I don't know what brand it is but it's really not good so if you've ever had one of those you will not like smoothie blenders because they always seem to split. Um, so basically what you have on the inside is a piece of plastic that is into the ferrule and then you have this piece of sponge that covers it. Um, now if you break that plastic um, your smoothie blender is pretty much no good to you. So I always hold my finger on my smoothie blender when I'm loading it, when I'm washing it, whatever. Um, if you can just give it that bit of extra support, um, it will be fantastic um, and it will last longer and it will be the best thing. Now sometimes I split around the edges here. Now if you can catch that early, get a little bit of craft glue and make sure you put it on the inside so it doesn't come out the edge or you'll have a rough edge um, and then it will be no good to use anyway. But you can save them. Um, and they will do a really wonderful job for you if you look after them well. Um, now here I have some white star blend which I have repotted into a wolf container. Um, so I'll just show you. But basically, as I said, put your finger on here. You rub it really quite well. Load it well. If you take the time to load it well, it will love you. Just put the extra dust off. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. Alright, that's pretty good coverage. You know, obviously it's matte. You know, it's not shiny like your face paint is when you put it on. Um, and you know, so that's really good. You could do nearly a whole face with that, I reckon. And um, you know, it, it's done. And usually, then I flip it over and put the black on the other side. And if you're doing a zombie, and the, the eyes are done as well. Now, the other thing that a lot of people don't do is use them with paint. Um, so I'm just going to show you. I've got some Paradise White, and if you load them properly to start with, once again, you will get a whole face out of one smoothie blender. And usually when I say a whole face, I mean a kid's face. Okay, so we'll do this again. Okay, really fast and fairly, you know, you may need to go over certain areas, but the good thing about smoothie blenders is they get in all the little nooks and crannies and in around the eyes. They're so much easier. It's a bit like using a filbert brush. It gets in there and it's done. So, yeah, and you can pat it like this if you need a bit of, you know. Um, but really awesome things. I love them. Um, I'm not a huge fan of lollipop um, swabs, but a lot of people do use them, so I guess it's just on, you know, what suits you and um, what you like, but smoothie blenders, um, very much so the ones from Silly Farm are the ones that I like the best. So I hope that helps on how to use them and what you can do with them and all that kind of thing. So I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching.